Hello and welcome to Mailbag. I've had a bunch of stuff through the post recently and there's at least one thing here I'm very keen to open. rhinocables.co.uk Some of this stuff, it's, uh, it's kind of pretty obvious what it is if you know what you've ordered, but some things I'm not sure about. Yeah, this is a set of crocodile clips. I've got a couple of uses coming up for these, but you've probably seen me struggle to hold a ground line from my multimeter onto something. That's one of the uses this will definitely go to. Yeah, so that was three forty nine on eBay. Nice simple purchase, exactly what the picture showed. No problems with that. Okay, hobby components. I have no idea off the top of my head what that is. Some things take a long time to arrive. Ah, yes, I remember ordering these. These are turned pin headers. These are the female ones that I've been using in the processor build. So I've recently got through a load of these on those small temporary circuit boards I soldered up. Actually, I'm currently in need of the male ones. I think I ordered some at the same time. So this is 369 for five of the 40-way ones. I'm gonna get through a few more of those, so I'll probably end up ordering some more at some point. But as I said, I need the male ones at the moment, and I think I've ordered them from a different location. I hope they're in here somewhere. Resistor element times one. No idea. Ah. These are not resistors. Okay. This is not how you send microchips. Look at this. Okay, what are they? Since they're definitely not resistors. Twelve F six eight three. Yeah, that's um that's a pick. I think I know why I got that. Yes. This is that little uh, board that I opened in the last mailbag from Julian Illett. So this is one of the components I need to do some tests on that. But seriously, I've had chips turn up from eBay that I've paid next to nothing for that have been really well packaged. There was really no need for just dropping them in a jiffy bag like that. Super capacitor. Yeah, I remember ordering this. So 5.5 volts, 4 farad. I want to experiment and see just how long I can run circuits on this.
I want to have a play with that soon, but um, I won't do them right now. Okay, so this was another eBay purchase, £3.57 for two of them. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to uh, take the voltage and current consumption of a circuit and work out how long one of these should last, but check this out. So this is my Nest Protocol receiver circuit and my home-built Nest controller. And that's been quite happily running that for a little while. I've got a sneaking suspicion the LEDs are uh, probably a significant part of the consumption. But yeah, I'm uh, quite keen on that. I've got an interesting project idea which I think is going to be quite fun. Okay, well, I kind of know what this is, but I'm also not sure. Okay, now that is a copper bar. Now I've ordered a bunch of different metal bars, and I'm sure they're going to turn up in dribs and drabs over the next weeks or months. Copper is nice and easy to identify. But some of the ones I've ordered, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell them apart on site. So at least this place does actually tell you what it is. But I'm expecting to get some metals that I perhaps can't tell apart. Okay, this is from Mouser. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and I've been looking forward to receiving it. Yeah, this is from Crowd Supply. This is a tiny pico. So I've mentioned the Unexpected Maker in a few videos. This is his um, crowd supply campaign he ran recently, which did very well. So I got one of his tiny Pico boards and a play shield. That is rather nice. Sion does um, quite a good regular stream and so he kind of sits around and talks about what he's doing and so I've, I've watched him make a few of these so it was uh, absolutely had to be done to back his campaign and get one to have a play with. Now it's called Tiny Pico and that is definitely fulfilling the name. I don't think it's easy to communicate just how small this is. This is a three-dimensional Wi-Fi antenna, which apparently gives much better communication capability than uh, similar devices. I've got a few different ideas. I keep coming up with new ideas of things to do with it, but I'll probably only do a subset of them. But yeah, that is very good to receive. So here's the Tiny Pico crowd supply page. It was obviously quite successful. 
So he had a little bit of fun trying to work out how he was going to deliver as many picos as were ordered. So you can still get them now. They'll take a little while to, to come. But it looks like this is going to be a fun little device to play with. I'll put a link to this in the description and to Sion's YouTube channel. Okay, what's this? Okay, that's not terribly exciting. I do need them. So, mini USB cables. I've got loads of longer ones, but sometimes you really want a short one so you haven't got loads of cable lying around. So, these will be pretty handy. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. It's probably the best looked after these chips have ever been.